Welcome to the next tutorial on adding and deleting from inventories but within functions this time to make our code work in a really ni nice and neat way. So most of this code we've already seen in the previous tutorial. So down to here the code is identical. So the new bit I've put is after I've printed the inventory, if the person's left a coin on the floor or even if they've picked it up, I've put a print line in saying, a man blocks your way, he asks for the gold coin, type yes to give him the coin. Again, I make a little variable, I've called it give coin, felt logical, an equal sign, the keyword input and open and close brackets. So again, that'll store whatever the person answers. So if they say yes, yes will get stored in GiveCoin. If they type in no, no will get stored in GiveCoin. So now I've got an if statement. Again, indented exactly the same as the previous lines here. So if GiveCoin double equals open speech marks is equal to yes, close speech marks, colon, indented by one tab, print, you give the man the coin and he lets you pass, and then this is where it gets clever again. I've made a function called delete from inventory and in speech marks we've got coin. So this is what we're going to pass to the inventory function, uh, the delete from inventory function, and then we're going to print whatever's left in the inventory to make sure it works. So this is where I've made it. So it's just def again, so define, keyword def, a space, and I've called this one delete from inventory. You can call it something shorter if you'd like. And then again, open the brackets, I've got this word item here. I could have called it something different. This is just a holding variable to catch whatever we're throwing at it. So in this case, again, we're throwing a coin. It's a bit of text, a string, and it's going to get temporarily stored in this variable we've called item. And then this is the only line you need to remove the item from the inventory. So it's inventory, full stop, remove, open brackets, item and close brackets okay and that will remove the item from our inventory so when we've built this bit of code we can now quite happily add stuff to our inventory and remove stuff from our inventory which is perfect because you know at certain points in your game you might want your player to put down an item you might want to give a limit to the inventory so it can't be over a particular size because in reality a human can only carry so many things uh, so with, with these two functions we've got now, we can really take our code places. Now, I would like to stress that this code, although it will work, I haven't yet covered the part where what happens if you don't pick up the coin and then you try and delete it from the inventory. I haven't put in code for that yet. Don't worry, I'll show you that in the next tutorial. But for now, let's have a look at how this works. So let's run it, step 5. Right, so we're in a hall, there's a gold coin on the floor, type yes to pick it up. So yes, I'm going to pick up the coin. As you can see, my inventory now has a coin in it. A man blocks my way and he asks for the gold coin. Well, yep, I'm going to give him the coin. Hit enter, you give the man the coin, he lets you pass, and you can now see we've just got these square brackets. Well, that's our inventory. And as you can see, it is now empty. So the code has worked perfectly it's got rid of the item. We did have a coin in it here and now it's empty again. Works perfectly. However, we are going to have to add a little bit more code, which I'll show you in the next tutorial, to cover the fact if we don't have an item in our inventory. So if I run this again and just show you at the moment what will happen. So if we've got a gold coin, this time I'm not going to pick it up. A man blocks your way, type yes to give him the coin. Well, let's give him the coin. Remember, we don't have a coin. Yeah, there we go. We get an error. So we're going to have to deal with this, but I wanted to keep this one, this tutorial, quite simple. So we'll cover that in the next tutorial. Have a go at this. Try and make a delete from inventory function like I've shown you here and add into your inventure the option to... Um, not just pick something up, but also an option to either drop something or give the item to somebody else. And once you've done that, move on to the next tutorial. See you soon. Bye.